Uh, Ethan, <laughs> it's Pikmin. <laughs> I love Pikmin. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite games, like you know, of all time. I just I love this freaking game so much. Yeah. Do you? How fast did you say that you've beaten this game before? I mean, I'm no like super speed runner, but I've, I beat it in like I think like maybe 14 days, maybe 13. And what's the maximum amount of days? The max amount of days uh, that you have to to, to beat it is 30. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need all 30. <laughs> you might, but you've got my guidance, Ethan, so you should be fine. As long as you don't suck as bad as you say you do. Yeah. Which I've you might. <laughs> I've tried this before and sucked horribly. Oh boy, this I'm probably gonna get frustrated at you. Yeah. Uh. The impact the site. Impact site. Impact. So can we just talk about the fact that he's from a space-bearing people and <laughs> They don't know how to deal with meteors um, Or how to dodge that's true that thing did kind of just come out. I have I didn't really thought about that Don't criticize my game Ethan <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, that is a, that is an interesting point. Um, you're right. He just kind of came out of I mean, you could clearly see it, but uh, whatever. Yeah. Without that media, there would be no game. True. So. It was their entire way to actually, you know, make plot. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, so let's see. So, yeah, the planet has poisonous oxygen. Yep. So. <laughs> so poisonous. Now, you know, I forgot if I ever, if I ever mentioned this to you, uh, Ethan, but did you know that this game, like the planet that this takes place on, is actually a post-apocalyptic Earth yes. after the extinction of humans? Yes. Yes, yes it is. And they cover that... Starting in Pikmin 2, when you can find stuff that is clearly Earth. Yeah, well, I mean, you can find a few references here. I mean, you know, the fact that there's boxes hmm. with, like, numbers, you know, labeled on them, which somehow correspond to how many Pikmin you need. Right. But, uh, oh, also cans. There's just cans and bottles. Hmm. You know, yeah, there's just stuff scattered around, but... Nice. Yeah, you, um, in Pikmin 2, they have all the treasures that you can get. Hmm. Ugh. So this thing is called an onion, because it looks like the thing they eat is called an onion. Yep. It is an onion. It is an onion. I would go ahead and smack the plants. Oh. Well, well I mean, I could have done you that. Can, yeah, you can go ahead and do it now. Now, while you're, uh, now, I, you may already know this, but, like, while you're, like, whenever you aim the Pikmin at the, at the, at the sprout, like, with the plants with the pellets in them, just, like, try and land the Pikmin directly on the pellets, because right. it'll be a one-hit thing. Yeah. I knew that much. All right. And that's the Pikmin. I love. What's your favorite Pikmin, Ethan? Uh, I think I would have to go with uh, Yellow Pikmin. Why is that? Uh, because they got Will Smith ears. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's because uh, I don't know. They just look cute. They are pretty cute. I've got to yeah. admit. Um, they're very deadly in large groups. But oh yeah. They're cute. Yeah. Um, I always loved blue Pikmin myself. I just like, uh, like, I like blue, you know, I mean, you know that my coat was red for the most part. Yeah. But that's only a more recent thing. I've always loved blue, and I've always loved blue Pikmin. Uh, they're cool. They can go in water. I mean, how cool yeah. is that? Well, I mean, you know? the rest of them drown if you try that. Exactly. You know? There you go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm perfectly on it. No, no, no. You, 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 uh, you gotta get closer. Okay. There you go, like right there. There you go. There we go. See? Uh, yeah. All right. These GameCube controls, man. <laughs> I love the GameCube controls. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, like, the lack of ability to aim better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, in you played Pikmin 3, you said, right? Uh, no. I still have not played you Pikmin have, You still haven't played it? Didn't nope. you have it? Nope. Oh, I thought you did. I don't know why, okay. but you seem to be convinced that I've had it. I know. <laughs> I think this is the I second or third time that you've said that. Over the course of, like, a year or two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, more in the course of just, like, the mm. last few days. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's like, let's see, I, um, I guess it's just because, like, you know, I'm, like, I'm a huge fan of the Pikmin series, obviously, and I'm like, you have a Wii U. I don't have a Wii U, right. so I'm like, why don't you have Pikmin? Why would anybody not have Pikmin? <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, that's that's my whole process. This is my on favorite that. thing in this game. Oh yeah, and I think they took that ability away in the Wii U version. Ah. Yeah, I know. Which um, seems like it'd be kind of annoying because that's like one of the main, you know, techniques I use. Right. No. Uh, with the Wii U version, apparently there's a lot of really annoying things that happen. Really? Yeah. 
or like that they did with it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still want to play it because I I, I want to play it, but right, you know, still. And um, apparently the ending of Pikmin Three, and I don't, you know, I of course don't know what happened, but I've heard, I've heard it apparently leaves, you know, op- you go back and get the five one. Oh, back where's the button? Go uh, down. Go down. Go down. Right there. Oh, you yeah, also make sure and ah. adjust your camera with L. Oh, you can adjust the camera? You didn't know that? I had no idea. <laughs> you said you played this before, right? I played this before. I didn't use that. And did you not that. know that? Oh my god. That, make, that makes the game so much harder. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now you can understand my pain. <laughs> I would be more sympathetic to you, but that's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, an R to zoom out. Yes. R to zoom in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I usually just keep it like you know the middle range, but right. You know, um, in Pikmin too, uh, if you hold that, if you hold down R, it actually lets you see like a full, you know, like front horizontal view. Nice. Of it, so yeah, it's interesting. Pikmin two has some interesting environments. Yeah. I hate how they lose their color if they're not doing anything. Well, I mean, it helps identify them. True. You know, yeah, it helps so. identify them being idle. I mean, do you just like not like not like the way it looks or? Uh, it just seems really ugly. Oh yeah, like that pale color. Like that, like that pale silly putty color. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, while you're picking the Pikmin as well, if there's a bunch of them, like like just keep tapping A, and he'll go around and pick them automatically. Okay. So yeah, just it's been a while since I last yeah. played this. So. It's okay. Just yeah. pro tip for you. It makes it makes it easier. Okay. Until you. Do oh, that. hold on. Uh, do this real quick. Um, press down the D-pad. Hold down on the D-pad or something. I'm doing it. I swear you could, you could do something. Maybe Is up. Is it this? No, it's not. That. Yeah, no, yeah, never mind. It's fine. Um, I might be thinking of something that you can only do in Pikmin too, but I, um, I know that there was a thing in here where you could, um, you could make Olimar like lie down, and then Pikmin would pick him up and carry him back to the onion uh. as if he were a dead creature, and uh, it, it would make fireworks shoot out of the top. Yeah, you can't. There's a ramp right there, Ethan. Fine. <laughs> Gotta do it the easy way. <laughs> no, it's not the easy way. It's the only way. <laughs> now, I've never really understood why it is that they just sort of uh. immediately start working with Olimar. Um, I guess it's because the Pikmin are naturally... They want a leader, I guess. That's I think yeah. like like that that was the explanation sort of given for it. Like they're just naturally subservient. Yeah, basically, you know, or they naturally, you know, uh, have around a leader, or it's or it's like something with you know like like Olimar's suit. They think that he's one of them, but like a better version of them. Maybe. So something like that. All right, now you have all the Pikmin necessary to move the box. Yep. Oh, we already had him, but he's fine. Well, now I have more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now yeah. Moves faster. Right. Oh yeah, so this area, while it only has two parts, uh, it's actually got two extra hidden bosses. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they hard? They are. Um, you have to come back to it at certain times. Okay, um, that works better. Oh yeah, me. or like, like certain days, yeah. So in other words, if I went back here on the wrong day, it would just completely not be there. Yeah, it just wouldn't be there at all. Okay. It only appears on certain days. Like I think, I think one of them appears on like day fourteen or something. Okay. So, I mean, like I've only very rarely fought them because mm-hmm. they don't really give you much. Yeah, it sounds like me dealing with uh, the optional bosses mm-hmm. in Final Fantasy games. Oh, what is it? Um, there's another boss in, or like, yeah, there's another sort of hidden boss. Most people have seen it though. Right. It's um. It's in the distant spring, the fourth area, okay. where it's like there's like this egg that appears. I think it, I think it, it either only appears on day twelve or it only appears before day twelve. Okay. Um, and you break the egg open, and this like monstrous like monster frog mm-hmm. comes out of it, and that frog is an instant kill, uh, to any Pikmin that it it that it runs over because it just like walks along and it'll 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 destroy your Pikmin. I think I've actually had to deal with that before. Yeah, it's um it's really hard to beat, <laughs> first of all. Yeah. Um let's see, look around this area a little bit. A little bit more. There you go. Oh that's where it was. Yeah. But um it's 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 really difficult to beat. Uh you will you will lose a lot of Pikmin. It's like guaranteed that you will. Um but it whenever you kill it though it drops this pearl that gives you one hundred Pikmin. 
Nice. Yeah. So, you know, so that's pretty cool. See, so check over B, uh, in that area real quick. Okay, there's nothing else over here. So, yeah, you're good. You've gotten everything. Yeah. So, yeah, just now um, allocate your remaining Pikmin to there. To there. Trying to get... Or, uh, or no, no, I mean to the to the, the pellets so that they'll go faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just see, stick them. There you go. Yeah, because remember, everything can hold twice as much as you can... Or like yeah, everything can hold twice as much as it uh, as, as it needs. Yeah. Yes. When many Pikmin seeds spot out once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them up the individually. My wife always told me I was not going to retain tiles. Blah 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 <laughs> blah blah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, tutorials. Uh, tutorials. Mm. It's like at some point I'm going to be like, how do I do this thing? Yeah, and then I'll be yes. like, yeah. well, if you paid attention. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Oh. Hey, man, Pikmin are freaking tiny, though. Yeah, they are. You know? Yeah, like, uh, I saw a real-life scale of them and everything. They're like the size of a dime, I think. Jesus. Yep, and Olimar is as tall as a quarter. God, they're all tiny. They're really puny, yeah. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> It's really funny that now they scaled them up for Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, it is It is a little odd. I mean, granted, if they hadn't... <laughs> right. They wouldn't have been able to make them a character well, if they hadn't. They probably would have made them a joke character at that point. Like Pichu? Like Pichu. Oh my god, freaking Pichu. And fuck that guy. <laughs> there we go. Ah! The there engine... The engine, let me see, I think, um, like, at least, like, because, so there are 30 parts, Ethan, and there are 30 days that you have to collect all the parts. Now, most right. people, you know, would just say, hey, my goal is to collect, you know, at least one part per day, and that's very true. Right. What I'm going to recommend to you, though, uh, spend the first, or let's see, yes, spend the second day, um, like, once you unlock the new area, right. spend the second day. Just harvesting all your Pikmin, or like, or like just you know, amassing just only a group of amassing Pikmin. an army. Yes. Uh, once you reach a hundred Pikmin, though, um, or you know, you reach near there, you should try to get yellow Pikmin, and then try to get, and then try to get like at least one of the part maybe b before the day ends if you have time. Okay. Um, but yeah, from there, your goal, my goal at least, is always to get like at least two to three to even four parts in a day. Sometimes. Right. It just depends on, w on what the parts are. <laughs> you know. Ah. Yay. Blah, 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 blah. How convenient that he landed right near the one piece he needs to go right, anywhere exactly. else. <laughs> How convenient that he landed next to the one piece he needed in order to, you know, go back up into space <laughs> at nighttime where he's safe. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, they're so adorable. I know, dude. Your Pikmin are great. Hmm. Uh, let's see, hopefully, you know, hopefully you don't lose very many of them. Right. You know, I think, um, there was at one time I went th through the game, because, like, I'm always really cautious, but one time I went uh, th through the game trying to lose as few Pikmin as possible. I lost 14 Pikmin throughout the entire duration of the thing. Damn. I know, I was very proud of it. <laughs> I did the same thing for Pikmin 2, and I think I only lost 12, actually. Huh. Yeah, but that wasn't, you know, a 100% complete game, though, so. Yeah. Right. Uh, I like how he has just no idea why it is that they go up in the onion. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of clueless. But uh, this is more of a game that, like... You don't you, need to understand yeah, what's actually going yeah, on. Yeah, or like, you don't... You shouldn't think too much about the story. There really isn't the mechanics a story. of it. Like, well, there is a story, yeah, but it's like, it's, it's, it's it kind of takes a backseat to the gameplay, which, you know, granted, I think, you know, a lot of games, you know, should do that. Actually, eh. for the most part, I mean, you know that you want to establish a good, fun game before right. you, you know, worry about completely making it all about the story. Right, right, right. All right, head down there, or wait, see what time? I think we'll head down there next time. Next time. Woo! Woohoo! Let's go.